Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this look and it might look scary because it's very very bright but it's all washouts, it's a really fun way to play with colour if you're a little bit scared of it. So you might have noticed that I dip dyed my hair a couple of weeks ago, I had pink in my hair and it wasn't permanent, it was only semi-permanent semi dye so it's actually since then it's faded quite a lot so I've been kind of playing around with washout products and seeing kind of different fun ways to create different looks with colour. Now the product that I'm going to be using to create this look is actually from Kevin Murphy and it's called the Colour Bug and this is a new product, it's basically like an eyeshadow for your hair, so if you can see here, it's basically a powder, coloured powder that you put in your hair and it totally transforms it and gives it this really beautiful vibrant colour and it's all totally wash out. Now I don't know if many of you will have seen the picture that Lauren Conrad from The Hills, if you don't know who Lauren Conrad is I'm sure you all do posted in the summer of her kind of rainbow dip dye hair and this is definitely inspired by that look. It's not um, as pastel toned, these are definitely neon neon brights but I absolutely love this. I definitely hope they bring out more kind of pastel tones in the future so I can try something a little bit more like Lauren Conrad's look because it's definitely not something I would have tried with permanent dye myself, like mixing the colours. I'll put a link in the information bar below if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about. Um, I'll put a link to the pictures online there so you guys can go and check it out, it's beautiful. So this look was kind of inspired by that and it's also just a little bit of fun. If you are going out in the evening and you want to kind of have a play around with colour, if you've been thinking about dyeing your hair different colours but you don't know what it would look like, it's great to kind of have a play. And the awesome thing about these products is that they work on any coloured hair as well. So if you have very, very dark hair, and which you would normally have to bleach in order to put colour in, um, you can actually use this on that and it will show up. So really, really great. They are $12.95 each. You can buy them in salons. I'll put a link in the information bar below as well to where you can find a salon located to buy these because they're really, really fun. I think they would make awesome stocking fillers to anyone who kind of likes to play around with their hair. So if you want to see how I created this look, then keep watching. start by curling your hair. Now I've already done this but if you want to know how I did it, I did it using the Babless Waving one, which is my favourite way to curl my hair and I have a tutorial on it actually so I'll put a link here for you guys to go and check out if you haven't seen it already. But you can use any methods um, of curling your hair, whichever is your favourite way. And then I'm just going to run my fingers through my hair, I've kind of already done this a little bit, just to loosen up the curls and to have them kind of how you would want them. I'm going to pop a tiny bit of Moroccan oil, just through the curls just to kind of smooth any frizziness away. So once you've got your hair the kind of way you want it to look when it's styled in the end, you want to take a few precautions just to protect your hair and your clothes and your surroundings from the colour that we're going to use. So I've actually got a couple of towels, I'm going to put one across my lap because I'm sitting down and I'm going to put one around my shoulders because this colour does um, have quite a bit of a fallout, it's kind of like using um, eyeshadow, like loose eyeshadow, it has quite a lot of fallout so I'm going to look like an old granny with a shawl on right now but that is good, you want to be protected, you want your clothes to be protected. Another thing is if you are doing this in a room with carpets then please please cover your carpets um, especially if it's not your house, if it's your parents house they will kill you if you get this colour all over their carpet. So I'm going to start by spraying the ends of the hair or any part of the hair that you want to colour with a product. Now the product I'm using is from Kevin Murphy as well, it's the Staying Alive Leave-In Conditioner and this is just going to kind of act as a barrier in between the colour and your hair so that your hair doesn't get stained, especially if you're blonde like me, if you've bleached your hair it can be particularly porous. It's also to give the colour a little bit of something to stick to as well. So I'm just going to start by picking out um, the first bit of colour that I want. I'm going to start with pink I think because pink's kind of my favourite colour. And then you just want to pick out the end of a curl that you want, spray it with a little bit of leave-in conditioner, then take your colour bug and just rub the colour through the hair. And what you want to do as well, I find it's easier to kind of push it up through the hair like that and just you want to start working it into the hair a little bit. Now you might lose a bit of the shape of the curl at the end because you're using a wet product to help it stick to the hair. I just like to kind of use my fingers just to work the colour into the hair. This also helps to absorb the wet product as well and just 
kind of leave the hair dry because it's a powder it does leave your hair with a kind of funny texture it's kind of like using dry shampoo or anything like that it kind of leaves it with that kind of dry texture so you just want to kind of work it in with your fingers and then help to shape it back into that curl shape that you wanted it so there's the first piece i'm just going to pick out a few more pieces and carry on doing the same process so spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner over the ends if you want a different style and you don't want it quite so kind of smooth at the ends you can use any product that will kind of stick to the color so texturizing paste anything like that will work as well especially if you have shorter hair you might want to kind of have a little bit more hold if you want to like stick your hair up or anything so you just want to keep working the color into the hair in your little sections and I think I'm going to do four on each side so once you're ready to move on to the second color another tip that I would say is to keep baby wipes or wet wipes to hand if you're not in a bathroom and you can't wash your hands that easily just to save you kind of running back and forth to the sink because you will need to wash your hands in between using each color because you do get the colored powder on your hands so I'm going to move on to orange now and you just follow the same procedure for each color so spray in a little bit of your leave-in conditioner and then just start working the colour in. And then last but not least, I'm going to finish off the look using the purple, and I'm just going to fill in any of the spare ends that I can find that don't have colour on. Again, a couple of sprays of leave-in conditioner, and then just wipe the colour on. And the purple is a lot darker than the other two. And once you are happy with the amount of colour you've got in your hair, we are pretty much done. I know I've got a little bit of annoying light coming from the side here, but I hope you guys can see. It's just really, really pretty and fun. What you want to do just to set it is use a little bit of hairspray, um, and this will also help to hold the curl. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of that in. This is almost empty, actually. And you're done. So as I said in the beginning, this is wash out. When you come to wash it out, um, it should just come out normally with um, shampoo as you would normally use. I would recommend washing it twice um, and just concentrating on the ends. If you have particularly bleached or porous hair, um, you might also want to invest in a clarifying shampoo. Now Kevin Murphy do one of their own, but I also like to use Unite's Weekender shampoo, which is really, really good for the same thing as well. So that's what I use to get this out. But that's what I love most about this product is that it's really, really fun. It's very, very dramatic, but it's totally wash out. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you did and if you're doing any Christmas shopping at the moment then don't forget to check out my Christmas gift guides that are up so I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you soon bye